good mother puts her daughter's needs before her own. A good mother makes good choices. And she doesn't drag a child from town to town, school to school. You didn't make good choices. You had good choices. Options that being rich and white and entitled gave you. Cut off. That's the difference between Ooh, that is so good. That is Kerry Washington and Reese Witherspoon in the hit TV series Little Fires Everywhere. You might have heard about it. It's about two mothers from very different backgrounds. It's adapted from the best-selling novel by author Celeste Inc. Now critics are calling her new novel her most powerful work to date. Our Missing Hearts tells the story of a Chinese-American family in a dystopian near future. In the book, a boy named Bird searches for his mother, a poet who is on the run. First on CBS Mornings, Celestine joins us right now. Good morning, how are you doing? Good morning, thank you so much for having me on. Of course, so Our Missing Hearts is a bit of a departure for you. Um, was it difficult to write a darker book? Well, it did feel like I was doing something new. As you say, the book looks at some dark subjects, but I realized that at the heart of the story, it's really a family story, and they're the things that I always seem to write about, mothers and children, how do we raise children in a world that feels like it's hard, and, and how do we hold on to hope through all of that? The difference is that it's not the world we live in right now this second, but it's also not not our world, as you write in the back of the book. Explain the difference. Yeah, it's a world that I think is really governed by fear. There's a lot of distrust of other people, and it's a world in which if you are acting un-American, your children can be taken away. And so it's a world in which I think the characters have to make some really hard choices and, again, figure out how they're going to raise their children to still survive in this world. You write about anti-Asian violence in this book. Talk about, you know, how difficult that was as you started writing this book in 2016 was sort of a different direction, but you're watching the world, you're watching politics, and all of these events that are informing the story in the end. Exactly. Um, I, it always started with the mother-son story for me. I am a mother myself, and I always think a lot about family and parents. But as the world outside my office started to get really dark, it started to feel strange to not put that on the page, and mm. it kind of crept into the book. And so part of this book was me working through the questions I was asking myself as a parent. You know, how do I tell my kid, like, okay, things seem hard, but we're going to get through this and we can still try and make the world better. How important was it, though, to do it through your perspective? Mm. That became a really big part of it, especially after uh, the, the outbreak of COVID started and we started seeing a huge rise in anti-Asian hate. Uh, growing up as a Chinese-American, I'm, I'm from Cleveland, but I think I've known my whole life that I, I'm seen as other by other people. And the way other people see me is not the way I know myself to be inside. Yeah. And seeing that play out on the news with Asian people just being attacked on the street in the middle of the day, I think really made it important for me to, to try and talk about some of that in the book. That along with um, coming out of the pandemic, you know, did you ever struggle with hope? Because I'm always curious when an author writes about something and you take away as a reader um, something as powerful as hope is their struggles within the author's own life. There absolutely was. I mean, during the pandemic, I was feeling honestly really useless and helpless. I was wow. I was thinking to myself, you know, if I'd gone to med school and I'd become a doctor, maybe I could be in the hospital helping mm. people, right? Like there's something tangible you could do. Right. And as a writer, what what am I doing? Am I am I helping the world at all? But, you I are, realized, yeah, but I realized one of the things that was getting me through was reading my favorite poems, listening to music mm -hmm. that I love, watching movies that I love that reminded me of sort of what the world could be, yeah. that the world wasn't always like this. It's not always going to be like this. Like, we can make a difference. And, of course. And I think that's one of the things art can do. It can yeah. give us hope for the future. It can be a source of solace, a source of good discomfort that makes you think about what you don't want to happen. Yeah. You've got a big old fat thank you in the back of the book to your mom <laughs> and your sister for putting up for what you call this whole creative writing thing. It's turning out pretty well, right? <laughs> it is. I think so. I come from a family of scientists. My mom is a chemist. My dad was a physicist. My sister's an engineer. And I turned out to be a writer. And I think they're... They've been really supportive in this, even though I think they don't always understand what I'm doing, <laughs> yeah. and I'm so grateful for that. Well, we She's understand. writing great books. And we yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I'm told I got to use the We appreciate the it, no doubt. Celestine, thank you so much. Our Missing Hearts is on sale right now.